All right. Dear future Brandon, this is how you set up a PNP encoupler with safety. So I've already got my PNP encouplers assigned in my two projects. I have one working here on my YouTube 2 project and the other one working here on my YouTube Not 2 project. So going to these PNP couplers, there's three pieces that you got to put into this guy. You have the in out 6 byte and the in out 12 byte for profi safe. And then after that, you can have whatever regular I.O. you want. So if we go to the I.O. for this guy, Profinet I.O., Gateway, PNP Coupler, GSD, so forth. Then we go to uh, the in-out section. We have the Profi Safe in-out 12 and Profi out in-out 6. You copy these and you put them in here. Now, this isn't a safety as it is, but it will be used as safety. So if we go into our program, and then we can open up a uh, file, open libraries, distributed safety. Uh, we have underneath the F runtime blocks, we have two guys here called uh, F send DP and F receive DP. You know, when I copy these into your programs, like I already have here, and I wanted to make note, those are different than the DP send and DP receive. Those are not safety. And we're going to add them into our safety program. So I have them already in here and running, uh, just for time's sake. They have the F receive DP at the top of my uh, safety call. And then I have my regular logic in between there. And then I have my send DP call. Now, what I want to show you about this guy is that on the receive DP call, you have a, like a reset right here for reintegration. And then you have on this side, the bits that would come in for receiving. And I'll show you that in a minute on the other one. But what's important here is this ID here, the ID has to match the send to the receive. So if the receive on this guy is two, then the send on the other one has to be two. And likewise, down here on the send, I have a one on this guy. So the receive on the other end has to be one. Uh, there's a timeout in the ladder address. The ladder address 220 is referring to 220, the 12 byte. So let's scroll down past the other regular safety logic to the end here. And I have the e-stop that I have on this PLC. And I'll push that and it goes off and click it back out and it comes back out to one again. Okay, cool. So that's working. So that's going into the send DP. So this is the array of bits that'll go and show up on the receive side of the other guy. He also has a timeout and a ladder address 200 which is this guy for his assignment there. So if we go to the other FB safety, same thing, exact same code. I don't have any safety in this guy other than these uh, receive and send. So there's nothing on the send here, but I just kind of put it in just to highlight the ID number that needs to go there. Is 220 is going to be that guy, the six byte, and the send will be 200, which just for going over it, 200 bytes there. The first bit here is the e stop received bit, and he is high because the send on the other PLC is high. If I push the e stop on the other PLC, that goes low. If I reset the other PLC, it goes high again because they're talking safety wise to each other. So that's a safety ready signal between two PLCs between a PNP and coupler. Super cool and quite common. Okay, bye.